Hi, so in this video I'm going to be testing the audio input output from the Canon EOS 5D Mark IV. Uh, now I was photographing a football game, uh, my son's football match the other day, and I noticed when I did a couple of very quick video recordings that the internal microphone on the camera actually picked up the sound very well. It was fairly clean, fairly crisp, um, so I'm going to test this now uh, with um, the other, uh, compare the audio from the internal microphone with the Rode Video Mic Pro and my trusty uh, Sony radio microphones with the Lavalier microphone that I'll wear on my chest. Now obviously I know which is going to be the best and how it's all going to go. I know that the camera one's not going to be the worst. Rode Video Mic will be the next best and I know that the Sony one will be the absolute best because it's my favourite because um, it's so close to me. Um, now, when you're changing the audio on the camera, you have to bear in mind that there, I would always set the audio levels in camera to manual and then adjust accordingly. So I know that for this part of the video, I have to increase the sound levels, uh, the input, to maybe plus two or three decibels. And there's a, there's a, um, you can go to the manual input on the back and adjust it. You have to raise it because the further you are away from the camera, the, obviously the higher you have to raise the sensitivity. So I've got this set to below the full, probably about three quarters of the sensitivity of the microphone um, to make sure it picks up my voice loud and clear. Now when I use the Rode Video Mic, what I have to do is actually set this to plus 20 so that we're getting all the audio from here and then reduce the sensitivity in the camera right down, same as I do with the GH4. So we're not relying at all on the internal microphone from the camera, reduce that right down, increase the Rode Video Mic and we'll hopefully get all of the input from this. Then lastly, I've got to do the same again. I've got to do some tests with the Rode Video, uh, sorry, with the Sony Lavalier mic, the radio mics, to make sure that the input I'm getting isn't going wild. Um, so I'll have to adjust the parameters for that as well. But you should be able to tell the difference in quality throughout the three, but it'd be interesting to see what the quality of the audio is like that you're listening to now from the internal camera compared to the other two. Now I'll say one other thing as well. I'm actually uh, using the GoPro, uh, the GoPro app, the Canon app, um, using the autofocus system, the dual pixel autofocus, and I must say it's the most handy thing when you're doing these kind of reviews because, or these kind of videos, because I'm using an aperture of f3.5, which is fairly shallow, um, so it's very hard to set focus when I'm doing this by myself, to set focus on myself and then assume I've got it right when I actually sit down. But the best thing is, as I move backwards, and as I move forwards, then the focus will stay on me. I'm just checking on the actual phone to make sure that does happen, but it's perfect. It's brilliant if you're a vlogger or a blogger. Uh, I'm filming in 1080 because I don't want to waste too much memory on the car because we all know about 4K on the 5D Mark IV. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's brilliant. The dual pixel autofocus, if you're a vlogger, blogger, or you're a solo video person who's constantly videoing yourself like I am, then it, it works perfectly. So enough of that. Just take it from me that the dual pixel autofocus is absolutely superb and I've actually tested it on a few other videos um, for, from the Canon 5D Mark IV so you'll be able to see those. Um, but for now I'm going to stop this bit of the recording and I'm going to swap over to the Rode Video Mic Pro. So hit stop. Okay so now I've plugged in the Rode Video Mic Pro and like I've said I've switched the input to the Rode um, to plus 20 to the highest level. So it's super sensitive on the, the, the microphone, which is pointing straight at me. It's like a shotgun mic, great for run and gun video. And I've switched the internal audio right down. I'm looking at the levels on here. The app is fantastic from Canon, 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 Canon. The, the app is really great because you can see all of your settings on here, see what you're filming, how long it's recording for. You can also see the mic levels so that once you've set it up, you can double, double check while you're speaking to make sure you've got the levels right. So you're hearing me from the Rode Video Mic Pro now. Uh, and you're probably noticing quite a bit of difference. It's probably a lot, crystal, a lot more crystal clear, more directional towards me with less ambient noise um, and, and quite nice bass tones and that kind of thing. So, you know, compared between the two, you've probably noticed a big difference and you'll, I'm now going to attach the, the Sony uh, Lavalier mic, the radio mics, and do the same. So I'll, I'll set the internal mic accordingly just to make sure that I've got the right levels and then you'll see a difference and it should be a lot more bass resonance and again, much, much less ambient noise, uh, a much cleaner sort of input. So uh, yeah, we'll switch to that now. Okay, so now I've got the, the Sony Lavalier mic, the wireless mics uh, you're hearing me from, 
and this is with the Sony UTX B1 uh, radio mics. I've had these for about eight or nine years. They've served me super well. They, the batteries last for hours and hours and hours, and the, the quality, as you can hear, is absolutely superb. Now, again, I'm testing the, the, the meters here. So uh, if we recap, for the internal, I had to turn the sensitivity right up to make sure it received my voice. Uh, for the Rode Video Mic Pro, I turned the internal right down and turned the Rode Video Mic right up so it could, it could actually capture me fully from that microphone. And for the, these microphones now, I've turned the sensitivity in the camera because there's no way of controlling the input to these other than through the camera. So I've had to increase the input from these microphones using the internal microphone. So there's no other way of doing it. So I'm now relying on the, the internal workings of the Canon EOS 5D Mark IV to ensure that this is picking up correctly through these microphones. I can see on here that the levels are very similar to the other two, so it should be working pretty well. But that should give you some idea of what the audio levels are like um, through the, the 5D Mark IV and how to actually control variable ones, whether it's from the, uh, the internal microphone using a shotgun mic like the Rode Video Mic Pro or similar, or a radio mic which is attached to yourself while you're talking to camera. So really, any of these are pretty good for, for vlogging, blogging, whatever you want to do. Um, also great for interviews. And again, I can't emphasize enough how brilliant this app with the dual pixel autofocus is if you're doing things like this, because I've done it before where I've sat down, done a whole video and realized that I'm slightly out of focus, which is a real pain. So I can see here constantly that the, the uh, camera is focusing on my face. There's a square around it. And every time I sit down, it completely refocuses straight back on my face. So it's brilliant. So hopefully this will give you a, an idea of how the, not just the sound works, but also the dual pixel autofocus. Uh, so yeah, I hope this helps and uh, this will be part of a, a much bigger review that you'll see soon.